everyone, so today I am here to do my video about going to Zhang Yixing's fan meet. So I did vlog, I have a ton of footage from this day, but it's low-key not that cohesive at all, so I figured I'd come on and kind of do a story time vlog more kind of thing, but yeah, this definitely needed a little bit of context because it was so spontaneous and so insane and last minute i just didn't have time to like really explain what was going on so that's why we're doing this so i'm just gonna cut this into the vlog basically so i can explain what the hell is happening <laughs> so firstly if you guys didn't know zhang yisheng lei had his first ever usa thing like event this was his u.s debut and he had a fan event in New York City. I'm not gonna lie, I was super confused what this was the entire time until we walked in. Like, I was talking to people in line being like, what is this? Um, it wasn't a fan meet, but it wasn't really a concert. He performed a couple of songs and he, like, answered questions from fans and stuff like that. It was kind of short. It was, like, only an hour and 15 minutes-ish. Um, but I mean, it was really spontaneously put together, so I don't think we can expect that much. But Zhang Yixing, has had his US debut obviously you guys can watch my reactions to both his music videos and unboxing his album so there you go it was in New York City at the PlayStation Theater um so it was kind of small and he actually put out tickets to get for free and I got myself tickets so me and my best friend ended up going together and it was awesome uh, a preface to myself for people who aren't my subscribers who clicked on this video uh, I am an XOL I have been for about four and a half years and Yixing has been my ultimate bias for like four years uh, he is like the love of my life I literally uh, I've never been to a K-pop event either. I've never been to a concert. I've never been to a fan meet. I've never been to KCON. Uh, mostly just because they're expensive and I've never actually been able to go to one. They always seem to come when I have finals. <laughs> and I'm like, great. So this event, I knew I just had to go. Yeah, I had to. It's Zhang Yixing. He is like my favorite human being on this planet. Like I... I would die for Yixing. Like, let's get real here. He's my favorite human being in this entire world. I am a Xingmi, first and foremost, of anything in K-pop. Let's get real. Like, I love him with my entire heart. So, I knew I had to go to this. And I am from Massachusetts, so New York City isn't that far. But this was only my second time being in New York City in my life. So, that was exciting. <laughs> so, me and my friend went to New York City. stop because someone had to pee. Yeah, I did. Even though someone was the one who said that she didn't have to pee for the entire two and a half hour drive. Oh, hey, you guys can see my 17 case that I can never show you all. Oh, OTD! We ended up getting there a little bit early, um, just because I personally wanted to make sure we had just enough time to get there and like be on time and everything. We ended up getting there about an hour and a half early. We sort of made it to the city. <laughs> you try it. Ah! Yeah, do that again. <laughs> and the line was already around the block. <laughs> If you guys were like, Kate, why didn't you just hop right in line? We, it, it, we we're gonna be at the back of the line no matter what. So we we're kind of like, eh. I wasn't personally someone who like really cared that much about getting to the front or something. So I was like, I honestly, we're gonna be in back anyways. Like, let's just go do something fun, and we'll we're gonna be in the back. Like, it's we're at the back of the line no matter what. So let's go do something fun. 
So when we first got there, we actually went to Hard Rock Cafe, which was a lot of fun. Um, and we just ended up getting some drinks because Erin had just recently turned 21 and I am also 21. Okay, this is her first. Wait, I gotta get a straw. Legal ordered drink. I forgot to take a picture of it. Is it? Wait, yeah. I got this. I might die. We're gonna try it though. So we ended up going and getting some drinks and some wings and it was a lot of fun. It was really, really good. Hard Rock Cafe has always been one of my favorite restaurants in Boston. So the New York one is like the Boston one, but on crack. <laughs> it is so cool. It is so atmospheric. It was really, really fun. And this was her first like legal out to drink kind of drink. And so we went there, got drinks, ate some wings. Good time. And then we went to the Rila Kuma shop. I know, I see it. Erin <laughs> is a big fan of Rila Kuma, so we obviously went because she wanted to buy some stuff. And we actually took some really freaking cute photos that I will insert here. Um, the girl who was working that night was just so nice. She was so cute. And she was like, oh, do you guys want some photos together? Because I was taking photos of Erin. And she was like, oh, here. And like, she took some really nice photos. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I'll put my handle because I obviously post all of these photos on Instagram. <laughs> and while we were there, I bought one thing. Yeah, so while we were there, I didn't really cared to spend a, like a lot of money there just because it's not my favorite thing ever but I did get this adorable little I think it's like technically just a paper clip but I'm gonna use it as like a bookmark and it's just this cute little cat with a cactus on top it was so cute and this was like two bucks so I was like I can spend two dollars to get a little bookmark and then we went to the BT21 store <laughs> Because if you guys know Erin, she is a huge army. Um, she's also an XOL. That's why she also came with me to Yixing. Um, and she loves Yixing. So, uh, but she is an army. So she was like, I want to go to the BT21 store. So we ended up going. It was surprisingly not as sold out as she was like expecting it to be. She was like, oh my god, there's not going to be anything there. It's fine. I ended up getting something just because I was like, I'm here. I might as well. So I got a pen because I'd seen these pens online and they look really nice. And I heard that they're really nice to write with. And I can attest to the fact they're very, very nice to write with. So I got this one, Mong, which is a horse. I'm assuming this is Hobie. So I got this one. I also just really like the colors of this and I think it's pretty cute. So this again was like three or four dollars. So I was like, I can spend three or four dollars and just get something little. <laughs> I am not a fan of BTS, but um, I used to be and I still really like the boys. So I wanted to support them. So I got a pen. <laughs> And we also took some really cute photos there. They have like these like statues. I think Erin calls it like a museum for them, but I don't know, it was just some statues. So we took a couple photos. It was cute, yeah, you know. And then we got in line. We found the end of the line. <laughs> Again, we were at the end of the line. Like, there were people behind us, but we could see the last person. We were very, very far back. So we hopped in line at like 7 o'clock-ish, 7.15, and the event started at 8. So the biggest thing I'd say about the line was that it was kind of crazy. We were like looping around Broadway. And also, uh, we actually met some girls there in line, and I got to talk to a bunch of people. And it was really, really fun. Um, it was really cool just like meeting other K-pop fans and everything. I was a little bit disappointed at how few actual like Yixing fans were right around me because I wanted to talk about Idol Producer. I'm not gonna lie. I like made a couple Idol Producer references and no one got it, but uh, no one was like a Yixing stan, I guess. But it was still really cool meeting other K-pop fans who just wanted to support him and everything. Uh, the girl I was talking to, one of them was just a K-pop fan. Her favorite group is Shiny. And um, she also likes EXO, but the other girl was an XOL, but her favorite was Sehun. So I can respect that though. But one funny thing that happened in line was obviously, again, we were kind of winding around Broadway. So there were other people walking by. And this man, oh, I honestly... I, w I was shocked at myself that I talked back because everyone around me was like, oh my god. So this guy walked by and obviously like 
it was a lot of like we had like posters and stuff like um, one of the things that we got handed out were these little things. It has the fan chants on the back. I have another one that's in better condition. There we go. And um, it was very obviously like a K-pop, C-pop, like Asian thing. I don't know what to call it. Is it K-pop? It's his US debut, so I guess it's American pop. But uh, it was very obviously for an Asian idol. And this guy walks by and he's like what is this concert for and someone like i think actually answered him but he just like he was like is this for kim jong-un and we're all just like what the fuck and i just go no he's chinese and i was referencing sai shikun <laughs> everyone laughed around me and like cheered for me saying that, but I was like, no one understood that I was referencing Sai Shikun. So those were, was what happened in line. So we got to the venue, obviously we signed in and everything and we got in. It was a really cool venue. This is so cool. Oh girl, let's go. Oh girl, let's go. Let go. <laughs> and again, we we're at the very end of the line and I actually was like, we're so far at the end of the line. I was like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom before this starts. Like, I don't really care about getting, again, I did not care about getting really nice seats or anything like that. It was mostly standing. There was not that many seats. And I was like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I have to pee. I'm So I went to the bathroom. Then we went to the thing. We ended up getting really good seats or like standing seats. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so sure. <laughs> we like we're kind of off in this side area for a little while there, which you're gonna see like a couple clips that I took from over there, but then we also managed to get down into like the pit and get really close. So I have like a lot of really good footage, I'm not gonna lie. So he started with Namanana, obviously. <laughs> recorded my reaction to seeing him for the first time. <laughs> There were actual tears in my eyes, like, going down my face. I freaked the fuck out. I, like, didn't know what to do with myself. 
but obviously Namanana was amazing. I it it was so good. I was literally like overwhelmed seeing it in real life. Like it's just one of those things that it's like you've only ever seen this person on a screen and you've only ever seen this performance on a screen. It was just so surreal seeing it like in person. So then we ended up going down into the pit at this point and then he came out after Namanana to answer some fan questions and all of that kind of stuff and he was speaking in English like 100% almost and he was doing so well. How, how do you feel and how are you doing these days? Yes, and uh... I'm very happy to come to, to meet you guys and make you guys happy and uh, uh, give you guys some motivation. Right? Yes. And did you get? Okay. And um, yes. And then he was also asked the like story behind Nama Nana and he said how he made the word and then we all sang Hakuna Matata. It was the cutest shit I've ever experienced in my life. Um, let me tell you, I was oo-wooing the entire fucking time. And then he prefaced this with that he had a gift for the fans. And he started performing What You Need. Now, I thought What You Need was the gift because that was his debut single. Uh, I fucking love that song. I started freaking out just at the fact that he was performing What You Need. But then he started coming down into the crowd. Now, I'm very torn on this whole thing because I understand why he did it. Um, he's Yusheng, he loves his fans, he obviously wanted to be able to come and actually interact with us. But, I'm not gonna lie, I was like a little bit horrified. I was so scared and just like, I don't know, okay, I'm not gonna lie, like, I understand, I'm not trying to put anyone down who was at the concert who did touch him or like reach for him or anything, but it stressed me out so much seeing how much he was like being grabbed and touched and everything. Oh, it like freaked, it like kind of freaked me out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I just was like so worried about him because I was just like, fans get really excited. It's not like you're trying to be bad or like hurt him or anything, but you just get really excited and like that many people getting that excited was a lot. Like I've never seen a K-pop idol do this before and I think there's a reason for that. Now, I have a clip of when he got really, really close to me. Erin, it was a fucking lifesaver. She was like, so he like went around the venue like this and Erin screamed at me. She was like, go over there. And I ran to the other side because he was obviously gonna come down the stairs on the other side. And I was right up front. The only person in front of me was the security guard and Aaron was like boxing people out so I would get to be up front, which kudos to Aaron, best friend, MVP. And so I will play the clip of him getting very close. <laughs> Now, that being said, I, again, am not putting down anyone who did reach out to grab him or did reach out for a high five or to, like, see him or anything like that, but I personally just, n my own comfort, I wouldn't want that happening to me, so I personally did stand back. I had my camera out to be able to record, and I was just kind of going like this, like, saying hello. I was also screaming Yusheng. The person you heard screaming Yusheng was me. I feel like I was the only person screaming his real name. But that's fine. I call him Yusheng. I'm sorry. And I just kind of stood back, even though I was right at the front. Um, I literally could have reached out and, like, touched him. Like, I didn't even have to, like, extend my full arm. And I could have touched him. But I didn't want to. I personally just didn't think it was appropriate. So I didn't want to. And all <laughs> I got so many messages. I had a couple of friends message on Twitter or DM me or see it on Instagram and text me and stuff. 
but so many people were like, Kate, he looked right at you. And I'm not saying he did or didn't or anything, but I'd like to believe if he did look right at me that he was looking at me because I was being a respectful young lady and didn't reach out to grab him or because I was screaming Yi Sheng and not Lei. Most people were screaming Lei or just screaming and I was specifically screaming Yi Sheng. So I'd like to think he did notice me and he did see me and he did look at me but I I don't really know it's kind of I kind of blacked out I'm like a lot <laughs> and then after what you need he came up to answer more fan questions Ray Zhang in California and the question is was dancing in the lake in Australia difficult to do for the Nama Na Na music video was was dancing in Australia in the lake is that difficult yeah I think uh uh, not, yeah, it's difficult, yeah. <laughs> you know, we uh, spend the time, uh, we step, we spend uh, for s six days to shoot the Namanana music video. And we went to Australia, uh, thank you. <laughs> we went to Australia and uh, we went to, went to the Pink Lake. There is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And uh, we went to desert, the desert. And uh, we went to the ocean. And I think Australia is very beautiful. Yes. You know, just to build off that, uh, that question came from Ohio, a fan out in Ohio. Um, could you describe it in a sound on the keyboard, maybe? Oh! I mean, we got the keyboard here. Okay. Can you try it out? Okay. So, can, can, can I just try some lyrics just about. Uh, yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You are so beautiful. <laughs> you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. Gorgeous. Good job. You are so gorgeous. Make me feel the world. I'm so happy to be here. Be your guys. Are you happy? Tell me the reason Because I can't meet you Cute. He got asked like what his favorite Pokemon was. Because T Rex is very big, right? And I also like uh, Pokemon. Yes. Yes. Do you have a favorite Pokemon? Yes, I have a Gu. Oh, sorry. How to say Guladun? Gu Gurud? Gurud? A very big one, red. It's on on, on the ground. And then the fans brought up a red T-Rex doll. Hopefully that's the oh. yeah. I can call this as a toy, right? Yeah. A door? No. Toy. Yeah. Thank you. That's amazing. He looks like uh, he looks so strong. Yes. Yeah. I thought the same thing when I looked at it. I saw this girl have it in line and I was like, that's so random. Like, I didn't even know that he apparently likes T-Rexes. Like, that's so random. And he likes red T-Rexes specifically. And he, they like got him the doll. And I was like, so proud of us. Like, I'm not gonna lie. We all worked together to get that doll up to him. And it was the best thing ever.
And then he performed Lay You Down. <sighs> This song was so rude. Oh my god. He ended up like unbuttoning his shirt. He didn't take it completely off. Let's get it started But this was the funniest moment of my life. Um, I he, everyone started screaming, and I just screamed, "You shang, put your fucking shirt back on!" I got so many stares, and people just started cracking up around me, and I was like, "You shang!" But it was amazing. It looked so good. It was so good. Oh my gosh, I was a little overwhelmed. <laughs> And then he also debuted Peach's music video for us. This was huge. Should we do that? No, of course. So, so, no one has seen this video. Yes, before. This is the first time anyone has seen this video. Yeah. This is the first time. To you guys, thank you, guys, for being here. We're gonna watch it together. This okay. is amazing. This is so oh cool. The world premiere, Peach. Oh Probably one of my favorite songs by him. I'm I'm a hoe, okay? Like, let's get real. <laughs> no, I just really love Peach. I think it's a bop. It's awesome. And I was, when he said Peach's music video, I like almost passed out. Like, oh my god. 
And then after that whole thing, he performed, I think, one other song. I don't really remember. It's kind of a blur again. <laughs> Then he came up to uh, talk about more like fan questions and everything. <laughs> I like actually almost freaking cried because he talked about how he saw so many EXO light six and everything and he talked about how he missed his members and how he wishes his members could see all of us with our light sticks and it oh. and, uh, thank you thank you for come here and also thanks you guys all of you guys yeah thank you I just feel amazing and unbelievable. I can get a lot. Yes, I'm a lucky boy. I was like actually almost crying. Actually, I think I did cry at that point. I cried three times. <laughs> but also, if you guys were wondering, I don't have an official light stick, but they did give out these light sticks that say Lay, not my Nana. So I obviously got one of these. So very happy about that one. And then Yuxing called us a snack. <laughs> Yixing just called us a snack! Huh? Yixing just called us a snack! I wish I'd gotten actual footage of him saying it, but uh... Yeah. Aaron screamed back, Yixing, if we a snack, then you the whole meal! And I was like, Aaron, please. And then he spoke in Chinese for a little bit. Now so, uh, thank you for listening to the music, and 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 the music, thank you for listening to the music, thank you. Now, this was one of the things that I don't know if it was me or not <laughs> because he was up on the stage and a lot of people kept yelling when it would get quiet being like you saying I love you like all of that kind of stuff and I was like I don't know I didn't want to be super obnoxious <laughs> but there was a point where it got kind of quiet and I just went for it and I screamed you sing wo I ni, which is Chinese for I love you and he like it was like a couple seconds later that he was like oh do you guys mind if I speak in Chinese and I was like did he hear me? <sighs> I picked up like little tiny bits of it, but I do not speak Chinese at all. But I picked up little things of it because I watched a lot of Idol producers, so I picked up some Chinese. <laughs> and then he left. Until next time, guys, let's try yeah. to But I was like, okay, we didn't perform Sheep, and w he's gonna come back and perform Sheep.
course, he came back and performed Sheep. I'm a little shit. What can I say? So let me talk. The cat girl. The crush of food. The animation. All around. Attack. Make it down. You get up. The house story goes. Let it die now. Young and young. Wow. You just shut your fucking mouth. You ain't got to be on top. Young and young. I'll put it on you. Young and young. I'll put it on you. Probably my favorite stage. I'm not gonna lie. I loved it. It was so good. It was like it was one of those moments that it was like this is what I see online all the time. Like I have watched this performance, like this live performance, so many times. But now I'm seeing it with my like actual eyes. It was crazy. Oh my god. It was insane. And then he obviously said goodbye and I love you and oh, he was just so cute. He went to like each side of the stage and like he was like looking like he like almost didn't want to leave the stage. He just kept saying bye. I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Glad to see you guys. Thank you, thank you. Oh, be careful. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Wow. It's hard to buy. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you all. See you guys. Love you guys. Thank you, 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 thank you
Nick away. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you again. It was so damn cute. It was some cute shit. Oh. I had so much fun at this concert. It was like literally one of the best moments of my life. I've always said for years now that seeing Aerosmith live was probably my favorite concert experience, like top five moments of my life. I would say this is my favorite concert experience and like top three moments of my life, maybe top two. That makes me sound sad, but I don't really care. <sighs> it was so freaking amazing and I am so blessed that I was able to go. This was one of those things that I swear to God, someone out there, God, the universe, the stars, someone was looking out for me and was like, Kate's going to this concert because it weirdly worked out. Like it was super creepy how well it worked out. Like if it had been any other day of the week, I would not have been able to go. But because it was a Tuesday, I didn't have class from like all Tuesday afternoon until Wednesday night. And I didn't have work and I it, like it was fate and then like Aaron was able to take off work and come out here like it was it worked out weirdly well and I was just like I was meant to go to this concert it was my first k-pop c-pop idol whatever performance event and it worked out so well I'm so blessed that I was able to go and I'm so sorry for other Xingmi's and XOL's who weren't able to go but I hope seeing this vlog has like helped you kind of live vicariously through me. I cried three times, I almost threw up, I like almost passed out at one point, I'm not even gonna lie, I got really lightheaded because I was like so overwhelmed. I was very very overwhelmed by the entire thing and yes I just to all my Xingmi's out there, I hope I screamed loud enough for all of us and I hope he felt the love of the entire venue for everyone in the world because I'm not gonna lie, it was a really good vibe from this venue. Like, everyone was so responsive to him, they were so good. I mean, honestly, yeah, I didn't think it was like that great of him to come into the audience and like he definitely was getting a little bit like grabbed and everything, but I'm not gonna lie, it was like better than I thought it would go. I was shocked nothing happened. He was still smiling the entire time. Like you can see in my clip, he looked back and kept like looking at us even as the security guard hauled him away. And they, everyone was so good. He was still like singing and smiling. Nothing happened. Like this venue was so like, everyone there was just so good. Like, I honestly didn't even get shoved really. Like there was this one point when I was over there and he got really close, I got shoved a little bit, but I didn't get shoved, I didn't get pushed, I didn't have anyone being a bitch, like, everyone was so nice, everyone was so responsive to him, everyone was just so good, and I just really hope we left a good impression on him of America, like, this, I think, was probably the best we could do to do that, but it was just so good, it was just so good, like, everything about this experience was amazing. I'm so happy I got to go, I'm so happy I got to see him, and I'm just so happy. I definitely have PCD, post-concert depression, I just don't know what to do with my life right now. I have to go to class in like two hours, and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. <sighs> like, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this concert vlog story time experience video. I'm sorry, it's probably so long. I had like 46 or 42 video clips and I'm now going on 26 minutes of filming for this, so. <laughs> but anyways, again, I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video and go and give Yixing some love. Uh, I'm just so proud of him. Yeah, I love you all and I love Yixing and I'll see y'all soon. Bye! Who does that here? Who does that here?